on an episode where we're going to be talking about heel turns and stipulations having to do with SummerSlam. This is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where it's always prolific, consistent, and dedicated, and sometimes polarizing and notorious. SummerSlam is going to be a huge spectacle, and the main event is set to close the show of Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. Fans want to see a clean finish in some way or another, or even interference that leads to the finish, but with no long-term effects, having a retirement stipulation means adding on something that will be rendered pointless in less than two months. Yes, because there is talk of a stipulation being added to the match. I don't think you need to do that. On the, I don't think it needs to be spiced up anymore. I mean, it is the biggest rematch that WrestleMania couldn't handle, and that's why it's going to be at SummerSlam. It's going to be a huge match of epic proportions. Now, I don't know. Maybe SummerSlam won't be able to contain Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker, although they did have a normal match at WrestleMania. But these two, every time they've gone at it, it's always been The Undertaker on the losing end. Is The Undertaker finally going to come back with retribution? What kind of Undertaker can we expect? Is it going to be the dead man? Is it going to be the biker? Is it going to be the red devil, big evil? What kind of Undertaker can we expect? at SummerSlam and should there be a stipulation if it were me booking things maybe it should be a hell in a cell but I don't know if the retirement thing would really fit Lesnar or The Undertaker because The Undertaker is being booked for future WWE events even well into SummerSlam Oh, huge update as it concerns Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose for SummerSlam while WWE could be hoping that Roman Reigns will be cheered because he's teaming with Ambrose there is another scenario that's been thrown around which could see Dean Ambrose turning on Roman Reigns which would be a long feud between the feud between the two. It's been well known that WWE has been light on the heel side for quite some time now, and it probably wouldn't hurt to put Ambrose on the heel side. Uh, both Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer uh, newsletter, go subscribe to them right now, uh, briefly speculated that Ambrose may end up turning on Reigns at SummerSlam due to the fact that the two of them are being a little too chummy as of late. Yeah, the, you, you see how they're getting close, you know, buddy and buddy, and you know, it, it's it's almost like you can see the wheels turning in motion here. Even though the idea of Ambrose turning heel at SummerSlam uh, might seem a bit far-fetched, WWE has been trying to shake things up as of late, so it's not really out of the question. And remember, there's been rumors all year long that either Reigns is going to turn heel or Ambrose is going to turn heel. One of the two are going to turn heel, but it's just who's going to do it? What would be the better reception? What would be the better choice? Obviously, Roman Reigns... Um, you know, he's very capable, he's definitely improved his performance, his stamina, his mic skills, he's definitely getting better uh, in tune with the crowd and, you know, how to respond and how to react and his mannerisms, but obviously Ambrose at this point would fit probably, you know, he could, he would fit good in the Wyatt family, he really would, Ambrose would be a good fit for the Wyatt family if he were to turn here, but that's only if, and we all know the WWE ifs can be a part of the game for a long-term plan. So ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions, should there be a stipulation to the Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, and what kind of He'll turn, can we expect? Will it be Roman Reigns or Dean Ambrose? Subscribe.